There, folks and I hope you're all keeping well on this fine morning and just look at that lovely bit of sunshine this morning and that's where we stayed last night no not the posh hotel the headland <laughs> just in the car park here down at town headland and a fine place it is to stay just look at them views and there's a fishing boat's heading out nice and early this morning anyway we're going to stay in Newquay for a night or two and then hit the road usual crack who knows where we're going to end up? So jump aboard and come along with me and the boy the scruffy. There he is, enjoying the early morning sun. And just look at this for a breakfast view. Looking over Nikki Bay. <laughs> and yesterday, we were sitting there having breakfast and this old lady, old Scotch lady come walking up with the dog and she said, fine view, isn't it? I said, yeah. She said, You've got exactly the same view as the folks staying in the big posh hotel. <laughs> and that's probably cost about 150 quid a night and you've got it for nothing, son. She said, power to your wheel. Good luck to you. <laughs> I love meeting folk like that. Right. A few vans this morning camping. Nice to see. Right, back to this nice warm bowl of porridge. Nice bit of Nuki history for you there. That's the old lifeboat hut there, on the town headland, and the old slipway here, look at that. <laughs> and that old rock there, you can just see, sticking out to sea, that's called Old Dane. And looking over towards Porth and up the coast towards Watergate. And we're just going to have a little walk around the headland, have a look at the cribber. Look at them blue skies. we down at the end of town headland. And this is the best place to come if you want to see the cribber. The famous cribber wave. <laughs> and sometimes I'm down here and the waves are that big they come smashing into the headland and you can feel the rocks trembling. And look at the views up the coast. Bit fresh this morning, I bet there was an old nip in the air, a bit of frost on the ground. <laughs> but it's worth it. Love this time of the year. Look at them clear blue skies. And there's a little hut there on the end of the headland. Perfect. Here she blows. Good morning folks and we're back on the sunny side of the headland. <laughs> we stayed yesterday 
on the Esplanade Road there, down on Fistral. But the old midwinter sun didn't rise too much, even though it was nice and sunny. <laughs> it didn't come above the hotel, so the whole road was in darkness all day. It was still nice, though. But this morning, we had our breakfast, and we come back to the sunny side of the headland. Look at that. There's a cormorant there, just skimming over the water. And uh, yesterday, we pointed out Old Dane, and that's Old Dane Rock there, with the waves crashing over him. And we're just going to go and head a little one this morning on the other way, up towards the Hare's Hut and down to the Nuki Harbour. <laughs> it was fresh this morning. Oh, uh, with a double bowl of porridge this morning and two cups of tea. Bit of central heating. Right, where's that scruffy gone? The Hare's Hut on the cliffs here at Newquay and uh, they tell me that years ago they used to spy the pilchards from the hut and they signal down to the harbour where the shoals were and they go out with the nets and catch them. Those are the days, eh, Scruffy? I could just go with a few pilchards there this morning. <laughs> Should have brought the fishing rods, we could have tried for some of them pilchards. <laughs> and uh, these are the old beatnik shelters here, just down beside Nikki Harbour. And years ago, before there were kids over, you could bring a guitar down and a few beers, and you could have a right sing along in there. The acoustics is grand. <laughs> Aye, good times. And, uh, that's just looking over there towards the harbour. Nice high tide rising. Uh, good old Newquay Harbour in the morning sun. And my first ever job when I first come to Cornwall was what well, that building is, that used to be the Lobster Pot Hotel many years ago. And I worked there, oh, I think, early 90s. <laughs> nice and handy for the Red Lion as well. Oh, the seagulls have got a fish. Oh. <laughs> they got the pilchards instead of us, Gruffy. <laughs> We're just walking up Beacon Road now, back to the van. And this was my first ever flat in UK there. Number nine, in that little window there. <laughs> and I used to leave the house after work, walk down into the town with a guitar, busk for a few hours, and then come back and sit in the Ford pub and count the money. <laughs> uh, right, let's go back and get that kettle on, Scruffy. A nice cup of tea. Well, my friends, that's a rare sight, isn't it? Scruffy being quiet and having an afternoon nap. <laughs> Peace. I dare say it won't last long, though. <laughs>
Okay folks, today we're back over in good old St Agnes. <laughs> the cold weather this last week or so has took her toll on old Stardust, bless her. And we've got a few glow plugs not glowing. I could do with a few glow plugs myself. So she was struggling at the start. She was smoking. <laughs> and we just about got her going. And we've come over to St Agnes. Up to Tony's garage here at Seven Milestone. He's going to have a little look at her tomorrow for me. Hopefully, we'll go back on the road in a day or two, but no rush. This is where we are, look at that. With the views like that, there's no worries at all. That's looking down the Trevellis and Crosscombe, and that's St Agnes Village just over there, look. But I'm just sitting here having my crib and enjoying the peace and quiet. Happy days. Just having a nice brew up after a wander this morning down to Trevellis. And uh, we managed to get to, to Seven Milestone Garage okay. Dear old Stardust, bless her. <laughs> the last few days starting, she's been spluttering, misfiring and smoking. <laughs> but she still went and she got us here. And uh, we're parked, say, down the back of the garage. Right on the bridal way here, that's where you walked down this morning. That takes you down to Goon Bell and down to St Agnes. And there's some nice views up here too. That's looking over towards the Gossmere. And if you look over here, over the hedges, over the hedges and ditches, we can see St Agnes Beacon. So you might even go a little wander up there tomorrow. <laughs> We're in no rush. <laughs> We've got nowhere to be. So we'll just take her time, get the old van sorted, and just chill out in St Agnes for a few days. It can't be bad. Right, back to this nice cup of tea. Okay, we've just rambled down to Trevonin's Cove, just down the hill from St Agnes Village, and here's what's left of the old harbour wall. Look at that. All these boulders were once part of the harbour as well, long washed away. But still a fair bit to see. I'm going to sit up here and have a little drink. And just listen to that tide and watch the views. Now, my friends, that's what I call brave. <laughs> Swimming in the water with no wetsuit. Fair play to them. They're braver than me. Even Scruffy's not got in today. <laughs>
she runs. And a big thanks to Tony and the crew up here at Seven Milestone Garage, just outside St Agnes. A stout job. She needed a new battery as well and some glow plugs. But as you can hear, she's running a treat now. And we're just lit a fire and having a nice cup of tea to celebrate. There's a kettle boiling. We're just going to stay up behind the garage tonight. A bit too late to move on anywhere now. So we're just going to have a nice cup of tea with that fire. On one or two seats. Listen to that. Doesn't she sound sweet? Well, cheers, folks. We're just having a nice warm cup of tea. <laughs> and we've had some weather this last few days, haven't we? Clear blue skies and sunshine. Frost, a bit of snow. <laughs> Wicked sunsets. Fabulous sunrises. And some hailstones we've just had here on Perrinporth. <laughs> Nice clear sky coming over now though. You can't beat it, can you? Anyway, we hope you enjoyed these few days on the road with me and Scruffy. And we'll be back soon with some more for you. But until then, keep smiling and get yourself out there. So long, my friends. Until the next time. So long. <laughs>